Forbes, at least 14 of Hunter Biden's business associates met with then Vice President Biden, ranging from Mexican billionaires to a former Colombian president to Ukrainian and Russian energy executives. Yet Biden consistently denies it. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. Tell me whether the President of the United States is compromised when, when we know he's lying. I mean, like, like, Joe Biden came out and said repeatedly that he never talked to Hunter Biden about business. And here you have 14 documented meetings. So like, are you guys ever going to investigate this or is it just going to be is it just going to be what Mr. Tebalt uh, and said, what Mr. Grassley said? And that is that you guys are basically political shills. I mean, over the course of your career, has your husband ever made a stock purchase or sale based on information he received from you? No, absolutely not. OK, thank you. Hi, welcome back to the Sheep Herder Show. My name's Doug. I'm your sheep herder. And today I have a question for you all. Uh, who's the biggest criminal family in our government? Is it the Pelosi's or is it the Biden's? Now before we get into it a little more, I want you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you get the notifications. Uh, you know, share, leave comments. All right, now, the reason I said leave comments, you know, that's what this episode's about. I want your opinion. Uh, do you think the Pelosi's or the Biden's are the biggest criminal family in our government right now? Um, or if you have a different option, leave it. But keep in mind, when I give my opinions and when I discuss this on a podcast, and I want to discuss it with some of you, that's why I want your comments, um, I'm going to be stating facts. I'm going to show you proof, not stuff that we're told. You know, we're going to get into the Hunter Biden and the laptop and Joe Biden, while he was vice president, taking over double-digit meetings you know, there's proof of this shit. You know, we're going to discuss the Pelosi's now being famous for making major, major stock purchases days before national contracts are given out to country, companies. You know, insider trading, as blatant as it is, they don't even care anymore. Because you sheep allow it. Don't question it. Are cool with it. They laugh at you. They use you. You say, here I am. Use me. Anyway, leave your comments. I want your opinion. You know? But I'm going to call you out, too, if you don't have proof. I'm going to have proof. And we're going to bring this back up when I do my live podcast. I look forward to uh, your thoughts. All right. want to hear from you. My choices are Pelosi's and Biden's. Bring somebody else to the table if you got anything. Or, if you agree with me, tell me why. And if you're cool with what they're doing, tell me why. Because that, that intrigues me more. Alright, Sheepherder out.